swimming pool was located. That original swimming pool was constructed by the CCC and it was down in that low area. Beautiful playground for the kiddos and a basketball court here. There's a very extensive hiking trail network throughout Lockhart State Park. There's this beautiful little stream. Well, most, most of the time it's a beautiful little stream. Right now, not so much because of drought conditions. But lots of cool old oak trees with Spanish moss. It's a beautiful drive going up here and back down. here on my previous visit I, I, I didn't have a scooter all I had was Yappy's mountain bike and I regretted it from the moment I drove out of the I left with that that, that, that bicycle with the, the leg issues I got going on so up here at the top of the hill we have the group hall which is a ccc construct and there's also the water tower and some bumps
up on the full connection loop. with most state parks this is just a pretty little park Most of the sites along here are really for the smaller RV. I could probably get Trudy in that one. It'd be hard to get level though. For sure I could get level in that one. We have a dump station here on the left. Full connection loop is set up as a, in a flower pattern, daisy wheel or whatever you want to call it. It's round. It's a circle. So we'll be making making the rounds twice because there's a couple sites that are on the outside, but most of them are here on the inside. I personally like being here at the back of the loop so that we have the golf course as our patio view. There's Miss Trudy Thunder. Alright, we'll turn around and go back so you can see those other two sites.
that pretty well brings us to the end. Oh, gotta take off the <laughs> all right. If you're still with me at this point, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. If you enjoyed the ride, please click on that thumbs up and blast me out across your social media platforms. That helps so much. And if you've not already, oh, and, and by the way, I do this on a frequent basis. I'm documenting as many public campgrounds, uh, at least in the state of Texas and, and sometimes beyond. But I, if you go to dudeRV.com, second page is your campground map. All you do is, it's a Google map. Pull up that. It's got layers. It's got balloons. You click on a balloon. That's a campground that I've documented. It'll open up the YouTube videos so you can get all the Dude RV information there. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, that's why I get to do what I do. Thank you so much for that. And for our patrons, we are most grateful. Thank you. I would salute, but I don't have a cover, and that's improper. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?